Hello, in this video we're going to talk about reducing fractions. Now in order to get good at reducing fractions you need to know your multiplication tables probably you know up to 144, 12 times 12, uh, mainly because you're going to have to know uh, factors. So let's take a look at factors. So let's take a look at a number say 12. Okay, And I want to know factors of 12. Factors are just going to be numbers that multiply together to get you 12. So in this example, we can say 12 is really 1 times 12. Okay, So that's not very interesting, but some of the factors, let me write them down, would be, um, let's just come over here and say factors for 12. Okay, So right now we can say 1 and 12. Okay, so what else the factor of 12? So we can say, well, it's uh, 2 times uh, 6. Okay, so that's another pair of factors, so 2 and 6. Okay, what else? Well, we can say, how about 3 times 4? That's another pair. So then let's do 3, time, or three and 4. And that's actually it. Okay, so we for 12, we have six factors. 1, 12, 2, 6, 3, and 4. So when you're trying to reduce fractions, it's, a, it, it's going to come down to can you find factors of a number. So let's take another one, say uh, 24. So factors of 24, we can do 1 and 24. Okay, you can do... Uh, 2 and 12. Okay, now we also, it doesn't have to necessarily be just two numbers. We can do, say, uh, 2 times 4 times 3. Okay, that's going to give me 24. So our next step, once we kind of figure out how to find factors of a number, is how to find common factors. So let's take a look at the numbers, I don't know, I guess 6 and 4. Okay, so these are two numbers. And I want to know not just the factors of 6, which would be 2 and 3 and 1 and 6, uh, but common factors. What do these two have in common? So what you could do is write out all the factors of 6. So that would be 1, 6, 2, and 3. And factors of 4 would be 1, 4, and 2. Okay, you can say 2 and 2 because that multiplies to 4. But you don't have to write 2 twice. So 1, 2, and 4. So common factors we can see would be the 2 here. Okay, and we don't have any other common factors. So we would be done with that one. Uh, let's try how about uh, 24 and 36. So factors of 24 would be 1 and 12, or 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6, and that would be it for 24. Factors of 36 would be 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12. 4 and 9, and 6 and 6, but you don't have to write 6 twice. So now what are the common factors of 24 and 36? Well, you can see that okay, you have a 2 and a 2. Uh, you can see that you have, oh, I'm sorry, that's a 24. Uh, here's your 2s, 2 and 2. Uh, you can see you have 12s. Okay, you see that we have 4s. Okay, and so on. Um, now, what I'm concerned about is what is the largest common factor? All right, we would call that the GCF, the greatest common factor. All right, so between 24 and 36, the greatest common factor would be, where is it, 12. All right, so now that we know factors, now that we know how to find common factors, 
this is going to help us reduce fractions. All right, so let's take a look at our first fraction. Let's say 24 divided by 36. And I want to reduce this. So let's reduce this. Okay, so here's the rule. Step one would be to find the largest common factor, or that we called up here, the GCF. So when you look between 24 and 36, we already found that it's going to be 12. Okay, so what we can do is we can say, okay, 24 is really just 2 times 12. And then you'd say, okay, well, 36, that's really just 3 times 12. Step two would be to divide out the GCF. So we have our GCF of 12. Now it's on top and bottom. So we can just, I mean, you've probably heard it say cancel them out or divide them out. And so once they're gone, take a look at what's left over. And we have 2 over 3. And you would just check, okay, does 2 and 3 have anything in common? Well, and they don't. There's no common factors between 2 and 3. So here is our reduced fraction.